Hey guys, I'm Rosalvena. Welcome back to another part of Rise of the Tomb Raider. So where we last left off was that uh, oh, Rise of the Tomb Raider 20, of the 20 year anniversary edition. Anyways, I hear them walking again. Damn it! I the thought I are patrolling the streets. Got to stay out of sight. Ugh. Every time, every time when I come back into this game, it's like it won't allow me to save it where they're down. Like I have to legitimately take them out again. Waiting till the guy gets kind of like, whatever it is. Oh jeez. Oh, I shouldn't touch that. <laughs> yeah, I recently got bitten by a lot of mosquitoes. It's kind of the worst right now. <laughs> I'll take it, I guess. I'll take his death any day. All right, grabbing that. I don't know what that is. Cloth again. Got him. Alright, cool. Kind of refreshing myself a little bit. So do excuse me for a little bit of the... Of the things. Alright, so the goal now is to hopefully hunt down the, uh... The tomb. So the tomb is technically this thing. If I recall. I do remember recalling that was the case. Because I remember... Yeah. I do remember it was pointing that map to me, at least. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a bear to it. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't know how to handle this, but we'll see. We'll see how this is going to work. Because we haven't fought a bear in a long ass time, so it's going to be really painful. Alright, here we go. Here comes the bear probably soon. Oh, it's a oh no, it's a bear still. So, okay. Oh, shoot! Ah, gotta reload. Ah! Son of a gun. Stay dead! Damn it! Ah, son of a gun. Ah, oh, shoot! Where? How did I get stuck in this corner? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, go, 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 go. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the rolls in a long... I haven't done this in a long time. The rolling, the dodge rolling. Alright, there we go. Good. Okay, he went off. Back. He's winning. He's going back. Alright, so at least he's injured, I would say. That much. Oh, wow, he teleported back in. Just die already, damn it. Oh, don't tell me he reload. Oh, okay. I thought he, like... I thought he kind of healed up. I was like scared when he healed up or something. <sighs> Son of a gun. Yeah, so I'm going to try to aim for the ending after this tomb uh, is raided. Because I actually wanted to just get through with this game once and for all. I mean, it's not far from the ending in general. Uh, because I went around comparing to see if uh, how far I was at. In terms of like ending endings, I guess. But, like, overall, there's not much left, to be honest. Because of the fact that, uh... Okay, we got enough pelts. We just don't have enough other stuff, I guess. Like, gears and such. There we go. Open up the pathway to the tomb. What is over here? Nothing. Alright, cool. Let's go to the bottom of this. So I don't know exactly what to expect here, besides the fact that it's a tomb, so... Maybe it might be something good, something bad, who knows? Another thing. A blue glass vase. Still in excellent condition. Not many of these survived, for obvious reasons. Too rare to f Too rare to find, obviously. It's gonna not be found anymore. Uh, more coins, it seems. I don't know how many coins do I have. 163, okay. I don't know, like... I don't think I have any interest in buying anything from the store anymore. Like, although they keep, you know, putting up the coins and such, like, they don't utilize it. I don't know why the game doesn't utilize it as much. I'm just kind of curious about why they don't want to try and utilize the store a little bit more. I mean, sure, you might have something, like, reasonable behind it, but, like... Like, there's only one reason, like, there's only one place for it, I guess. And that's probably number one why it's not usable as much. Or not reasonably, 
not reasonably like used at all. So then you always get coins outside of it, and you're like, "What do I do with this?" Kind of thing, you know? You always, you're always gonna have to end up asking, like, "Why do we still have this?" Uh, some oh, some gears, nice. Some some bear skin as well. So I don't know what we need for bear skin for crafting. I forget what it was, but I think there was a crafting stuff going on to it that we need to handle with. Let's go swimming. Rebreather. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay, that was. I was like, what is this branch sticking to her feet or foot? <laughs> but it's actually part of her outfit attire that it has a string-like thing. Ruins under the water. All right. Well, that means we're gonna have to fight our way through the ruins of underwaterness. Alright, we got enough, or we got a lot of, like, uh, craftable materials, so we should be able to craft something, right? And a skill point. I didn't know we leveled up. Um... What was it? Here. Triple shot. Sure. True shot. Alright. I'll probably power that up all the way through before doing anything else. Um, Weapon-wise, is it going to upgrade my gun that I'm currently equipped with? No. Bow? No. AK? Yes. Shotgun? Yes. Okay. Damn it, they keep blowing up the freaking cave. No end to that. Oh, we got 43 gears. Ooh, that's interesting. Ammo capacity or recoil stability. So interesting. I, I'm probably going to go for this one for now. The high capacity magazine. And then I'm going to go for accuracy for his shotgun. And then hopefully we can find the uh, refinement tool. I really actually want to get... I know we can purchase it through the store. But I mean... I don't know. Maybe I might need time extra for that. Okay, this is 100% complete. Okay, that's fine. This one is 13 out of 14. So it's like 90% or so. Like a 92%. Yeah. You're 72%. Uh, 91%. 81% oh it's because yeah th those things are refinement tool related okay so that makes sense to uh, think about those later I'm gonna go to the inventory yeah I remember there was a bear skin that was needed in here yeah there was one um I don't have any comparing do I even I don't have carrying capacity for skins or pelts because I'm full of pelts I think unless I just crafted something just recently <laughs> and that was what happened I'll take some larger oil flask. I really wish I could do more rucksack. I don't, I don't think we need rucksack that much because I don't think I will ever grab as much rucksack as I would. Um, yeah, we don't have these upgrades available yet, so those are there. All right, I think we're good to go. So let's get going. Yeah, so I wanted to uh, at least get through this game as much as I can or as fast as I can because I am going on hiatus once more again, so I'm just re re restating it uh, multiple, multiple times. And... Oh, jeez. Oh, I see. That's what's shaking the screen. That's what's causing the whole craziness is because I can't shoot anything in here. I need to provide the spark. Oh, I see, I see. Ah, oh, no, not good, not good, not good, not good. Give me a good hot second. Um, oh yeah, the fire's on, okay. There we go. Yeah, that was so random. I remember this uh, particular setup in the last game, the first, or the, the la yeah, the, la the previous game of this game. Or, 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 Tomb Raider the 2013 reboot. Mm. Sorry, it's the morning, sorry. Demonic possession. They were performing exorcisms. Uh, okay. But yeah, it's a little early morning. My, my speech might be a little slurred. So keep that in mind. My freaking brain is like... Burr. And I, I recently also watched like a vid an old video of mine. And like, it was like the Assassin's Creed series. Assassin's Creed Syndicate series. Where I was like... Like the first episode or something like I was like I looked at myself I was like man. I'm sleepy like I know I knew that the time when I was playing Assassin's Creed Syndicate was in the morning and It was like one hectic like journey in general Because of like that 
or one hectic playthrough because there are points in time where many of my games have like myself in the morning. Wait, what do I have to do with that? Um, this looks ominous. Om ominous? Ominous? Oh. I get it. I get it now. Yeah, there's, there wasn't water here before either. That's interesting. I didn't know I was stepping in water. So, basically, if I shoot those things, water will come down. Uh, and then hold the weight of the thing. Let's see, is this gonna happen again? And then let's do that as well. I don't know exactly if this is gonna be the right way, to be honest. I'm gonna run up there. Because there's too much freaking, like, smack, like, madness here. Nope. Huh. That's so weird. I don't know how this is gonna work. What is this for anyways, I'm wondering. Or maybe I have to do, uh, let me do this again. Let me go that first. And then, uh, pull that maybe? No, let me go do the... Hmm. That's interesting. So this thing actually refills the water, I believe. I think that, like, it, it kind of is equal to me just pressing the E button onto that thingy-mabobber. I think. And that's what's causing it to be that. Alright, pull that, I guess. Let me see what happens there if I pull it. Nothing. Alright. I don't know if it's automatic that they do that to itself, maybe? Uh... I'm kinda curious what happens if you pull it again. Uh, let's pull that at one then. Let's try that. Right. Yeah, I don't know what to blow up. I really don't. Uh. Yeah, I don't know what to blow up. I really don't. Oh, maybe it's, uh, I, I think I, I think I see something. I'm not entirely sure, but I might be wrong. Let me see what this cage. Okay, um. Okay, so that's nothing of the cage. Oh, that. That's. That I can see where the, the thing is at now. Um. Okay, um. Maybe if I have to, like, grab this... Grab the waters out, I think. Alright, let's go and do that, I guess. Oh, I can't! Oh, I see. Yeah, I can't do anything right here. Oh. oh, I see what it is. I think I know. I think I noticed something. I think it is, but I'm not entirely sure. But I need to probably move this out of there. Yeah, I need to really move that out. Um, let me get one of the waters out first. One of the things is here. Grab that. And then grab the uh, 
going upwards, maybe. No, okay. So we need to kind of grab two, sort of. Can I attach this to the lever? Attach one of the things for the lever, I guess. I don't know entirely if that's going to be plausible. No, yeah, it doesn't attach itself right then and there. Um, man, this is really difficult. I, I really didn't see this coming where it's like super difficult. Oh, there's stuff there. There's a uh, document over here. I didn't see the document Deep there. Below the holy ground of our city, we have found the source of the corruption. One of hell's winding tunnels snakes up and vomits forth a miasma of evil. There is no pattern to the demon's depredations, but his mark is plain. Men driven to wicked words and acts, as God's grace is driven from them. We take them here to the mouth of hell itself to drive out the demons. We do not always succeed. Often the poor wretches are too far gone and they die when we drive the beasts out of them. It is heartbreaking to lose good people. But we must stand against the devil in all his forms. All right, so yeah, that's that. That's weird that this is their torture chamber, technically. Um, I still don't get it. Like, I'm, I'm starting to understand a little bit, but not too much. I don't know what those blue pots were. Those things. I don't know what those things are for, but maybe decoration-wise? <laughs> it seems like it. Um... I mean, I feel like, <clears throat> excuse me, I feel like if I pull the levers, what I need to do is just blow up, like, the most, like, I had to blow up something, because there's a reason why the gas is there, right? So, the problem is, I don't know what target is my blast of, like, things. Uh, no. Is that it? Yeah, I don't know what my target is. I don't know what my target is right now. Like, if you're giving me this, like, particular poison, there's gotta be a reason, like, where it's going. Like, I need to find out where it's going to be hidden. Yeah, because right now, that thing is holding itself through that gate. That gate is actually holding it up, legitimately. Hmm. Maybe I need to go down there and blow up that little cage thingy that's holding down the thing. Holding down the thing. Because that's one thing I need to... I, I think that's one thing that might be needed right there. But it might be dangerous because of like how much gas there is here. Ooh, jeez. Uh, yeah, that was I, I was right. <laughs> I was right. It's because of how much gas there is to it that I can't really stand there in the middle of nowhere and expect myself to be able to blow it up correctly. Um. So I don't. Oh, there's no another document. That gate. Must be some way of breaking through. There's a document down here. I didn't even see that. I'm not seeing a lot of things, and no I don't know why I'm not. People died here. Yeah, let me do the things. My mind is clear today. It was not so yesterday, and it will not be again. They say the devil is inside me. They say I am possessed. I have seen the beast in my heart, and it is only me. Only my broken mind. But the priests will not listen. I cannot blame them. Some days they appear to me as apparitions of manifest pain and hatred. So clouded are my eyes. I spit and yowl, for I am mad. But I know there is no evil in my heart. Only sickness that no man can cure. Sickness? And what kind of sickness are you saying? Love sickness? Sickness? Alright, what do I... I don't know what's... Uh, I think I saw something on the bottom of it. What is this? Let me see. Um, what happens if I shoot you? Is that like a tightrope or something? 
How did I not see that? Why why didn't I not see that? What is this? Oh, I see. Ah, okay, so that's the thing. So that was the one thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, there we go, and the water goes back up. Alright, that makes more sense. Because I should have see, see I, sh I don't see things because I don't really pay attention to them usually. I typically just screw up myself. Alright, All right. that should be high enough. Alright, there's nothing else. Okay, let's so let's go and move this thing in my bobber. Because we need that to be uh going through this. Maybe I'm on the wrong side of this thing. I don't know. Oh wait, no, no, no. We. I know why. No, wait, no, no. Never mind. That's not it. <laughs> why would I be on the wrong side? I don't know how. Maybe I need to pull it and then it will spin around towards the one, like the one thing over there. Probably. That looks about right. Let's see if it works. Oh, they want me to use the cage to blow up the door. Okay. That seems a bit awkward to me a little bit, but that's fine, I guess. Makes sense now. Uh... No? There we go. Yeah, I've been using the explosive, which I didn't notice that. <laughs> I didn't even notice it. No! I wasted so much of my ammo. For no reasons at all. There we go. Let me go grab some fire arrows. Mm. Demonic possession. They were performing exorcisms. I think she was talking about the ones. She's she's probably talking the stuff up there. Like the the stuff up there was like being kind of weird looking. All right, what ability have we unlocked? This is the last tomb technically. Because we only had nine tombs in this game, and Baba Yaga was just a DLC tomb that was extra. Oh my God, this. This is the formula for Greek fire. Ancient secrets done. Uh, Tomb Raider achievement unlocked. Nice. Flame arrows and Molotov cocktails do more damage and are hot enough to burn through enemies' armor. Ooh, that's actually very useful then. That means that I can deal with the. Uh, I can deal with the. What's it call it? I can deal with the. Um, Damn it, what is it called? Deathless ones easily, much more easily. Because the deathless ones are technically like... They're technically like armored, like crazy armored wise, but... Oh jeez, why do I have to walk through this every time? Like, those are the ones that deals the most like stupid stuff towards me, I think, so... Yeah. Alright, let's see what's over towards... Yeah, we need to fast travel out of here, but... At the same time, I don't think I want to fast travel any further than this, so... Uh, is there any upgrades we have? I don't think we do have any upgrades. Yeah, we don't have any upgrades. Alright, we can go. Yeah, I'm not gonna fast travel, I'm just gonna walk out of here, because I think this is the... I mean, this is the most plausible, like, way of getting out of here, because there isn't, like... There's not, like, a huge obstacle. There we go. Rebreather, Lara, rebreather. That's what we want. Alright, let me go and save when we get out of the water, I guess. Like, once we get out of here, we'll, we'll save at the very least, because I need to do that just in case of anything. Um, because anything can happen, so I don't want to screw myself. Oh, there we go. Alright, we're climbing up. There we go. I don't know if there's anything else. Probably nothing else in here, so we should be all good. I mean, I don't know how this game's gonna offer more bear skin besides like hunting like caches. Like maybe caching or like the uh, lootable caches on like the survival cache. There we go. That's what it's called. The survival cache, however, are the only ones that you need to find. I think that has the bear skin so far. Besides killing bears itself, I find killing bears really difficult in this game. Not because they're- it's not bad per se, it's just kind of, like, they're just strong. Like, they're really, like, 
a lot of HP on or something. Um, but yeah, that's the sort of thing I kind of got used to thinking of it. Alright, so uh, there's a survival cache inside. Well, I missed that. Screw that. Um... Yeah, there's three documents, but I'm assuming that they're all in here. They're all all the documents and remaining relics are in here. Crypt treasure is whatever. I think the crypt treasure, however, aren't going to be important for me because I think that the crypt treasure just gives you a better weapon rather than anything else. Like it's a rare rep weapon you might not have gotten from this game, and that's it. Like that's all it is to it. Um, I don't even know what the challenges are. Like, it's incredibly difficult to understand what the challenges are. What is that? Is that a... Oh, that is a salvage. Okay, let me go grab that salvage first. Yeah, so there's no choice of me, like, trying to... It makes no sense for me to try and kill all the deathless ones because they kept respawning. Even though I exit the game, uh, they come back for more. Um, I'll take this one and save. Yes. Because that was the oldest save. Oh, survival cache. Or whatever cache this is. I don't know what cache this is, but we'll see. It is a coin cache with a lot of coins. Um, more cash. Oh. Not a coin cache. Or not cash, salvage. But like that's not a salvage that I need. Alright, let's move on forward, shall we? Nope. There we go. Where's the guy? I hear the guy still. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Ah. Son of a gun. I messed up thinking the guy would not come after me. Got him. Alright. Cool. Oh, I'm full of arrows. Ah. Guy only had arrows. Alright, I forget that some some of them actually do respawn in certain places, and I forget what places there are. Because they just show up out of nowhere. They literally they're literal they literally show up out of nowhere without warning. Like it's just it's just they're there, so. Alright, I don't even know what the challenges are, but what is that? Oh, it's a document. Alright, we'll take. God is testing me. I've scavenged weapons and tools enough to survive. The Khan once demanded I learn to draw a bow and fight like one of his soldiers, and I am grateful for that. He gave me his own arrows, made for punching holes in armor. The ice around me provides all I need to drink, but it runs red with blood. The Prophet's army now patrols a dead city. These are not the soldiers who first met us at the city gates. They've been changed somehow. Among them, I can see a man that I myself killed in the battle. The old legends say that those who looked upon the divine source relinquished their very souls to it, attaining immortality. If this is true, I will surely perish here, buried with the secret I was sent to find. Yeah, so I, I feel like the divine source... Well, actually, no. That defeats the purpose of this guy's document a little bit. Because Jacob is one of the divine source people. So, because he, he grabbed a hold of it. And towards the way he went through with it, he ended up, like, being fine with it, I think. And, I mean, he has the power to control the divine source at this point to heal people, so... <gasps> Alright. What now? Oh, Jesus Christ. It's a catapult. Get out of there, Laura. Oh, no. They're sieging him. I don't know who sieged it. But... Shit. They're firing at me. Trip. Trip. Boat. Trip. Trip. I could use them to break through that gate. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to have to zip line down. Oh, hi, bud. Get out of here. He's not dead. What is this guy doing? Oh, jeez. He's hurting himself, maybe, I would say? There's a guy over there, isn't there? Oh, there's a guy over there. There we go. That's one guy. 
Oh, he's dead already. What? Did he screw himself over, I guess? I have a feeling this guy screwed himself over somehow or something. But I'm unsure. Alright, I don't know. I think the tribut tributal, I don't know how to pronounce it. The, the tribut or whatever it is, the can the catapult thingy mabobber is like incredibly difficult to fight against. Oh jeez. What is this? Oh, oh more coins, great. I don't know where it's at, but the tribut whatever it is, mabobber. Oh, uh, hi bud, hi bud. Ah There we go. I think that's not death yet. Ah! Oh, he died already. Okay, good, 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 good. That's good, that's good. Oh, jeez. Where is it? I don't know where- Oh, is it on top of here? Uh, that's not something I need to worry about. It is... Ah, there it is. Gotta run. Run! Jump and run! Jesus! Oh, hi, buds! Oh, jeez! Oh, I keep doing that to myself. It's because I played too much Final Fantasy that I kind of got got too close to the doing right click and then There we go. Oh no, he's no, he's not dead. Okay, now he's dead. Dodge! Oh, jeez! Oh, oh, there we go. I was like... I was so close to, like, not getting it there. Alright, oh, Jesus! Duh. Damn it. Get out of here, dudes. Alright. Where's the extra guards? Alright, we need to climb up there, it seems like. First things first, you. Um, get that, get that, okay, damn it, uh, I don't, I don't know how to climb up, oh no, oh, I can't do it, I didn't think of this through because I didn't know that it was going to be incredibly difficult to freaking... Where the hell is this guy shooting from? I don't know where that one guy's shooting from. I don't know. All right. I don't know how to get up there. I really don't. There we go, I guess. There we go. Better. <gasps> no! What the fudge, dude? Who the hell's shooting me still? Ow! You ass! Where the hell is it? Where is this dude? Oh, there you are, douchebag. Screw you. Dick. Freaking, I'm like trying to climb like peacefully and then <laughs> I get freaking attacked by douchebag McGee. No, that's not it. Where do I go from here? Oh, there it is. There we go. That's very tricky. Like it, you have to like pay attention really hard for that. It's really difficult. Oh, hi buds. Ow. Oh, ah. Stay back. Stay dead. Freaking douchebag. All right, good. That guy was like an insta headshot. Like, that one guy was an instant headshot. Alright. So those guys were dumb to, like, believe that they can just, like, make things easier, I guess. Alright, climbing up. Is there another guy? Oh, there is another guy. Why is he up here? Goodbye. Like, why are you over here out of all places, really? Use the trebit toe to trebit break down that gate. Whatever. No, the other way. I think this block of wood is supposed to be the way to go. That's good enough. 
Now to fire. Do I just press the left button? Uh, wrong place, my friend. Wrong place. Oh, I see. I had to hold it. I kind of messed it up, but that's totally fine. I think if I hit the general radius, it'll probably work. I want to do it again. That did it. I want to do it again, just in case. Do it again. Whoop! You big fellers. All right. Anyways, that's enough. All right. So I'm guessing that we're gonna just glide our way downwards, I guess, or zip line our way down. All right. In that case, I'm done for this episode anyways because I realized I went out of time when I was getting hit by those guys. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys haven't. Ooh, 75%. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys haven't. Hope you guys in the next part of Nobody Minds and hope you guys have a great, amazing day, week, and night, or whenever watching this. Um, in the next part, or in the next episode, we will continue on to this series end, hopefully. I'm going to try to finish this game once and for all for this session. Uh, not in this episode, but this session in general, like will be the next few parts, one of these next few parts, um, hopefully will be the end of the Rise of the Tomb Raider series. Um, I wanted to finish this before I go off into hiatus, but sh I will talk about at the end rather than at the beginning, um, because uh, it doesn't really matter, it doesn't concern the video itself or the series itself because I'm still playing it um, at, at a, as of this point, um, but you know, just kind of re-explaining myself a little bit more for those who were interested in the series. And the future of uh, of uh, Tomb Raider in general would be another thing I wanted to discuss at the end of this. But anyways, that's it for me in this part, and that will be it for me in that this episode. So, Roz, out. <laughs>